Howdy YouTubers. Here's the second half of my project. So basically this was the proprietary BMS that came with uh, this original battery and um, as it's blown and as there are no circuit diagrams and some seriously uh, dense electronics with some proprietary chips um, I had no option but to go and replace the BMS with the Chinese one. So this is one that um, I found on uh, YouTube, in fact one of the other uh, YouTubers, um, Mikey at, uh, I think it's um, ebikeschool.com e um, has a channel and he's used these before so I ordered one, it took about six weeks to arrive from China. The problem is um, it doesn't fit so I have to work out how I'm going to mount it. But um, the other problem was that uh, being a uh, 13S uh, configuration, basically meaning the 13 individual packs that make up the 48 volts, um, means that you need uh, quite a large amount of voltage to charge this, somewhere in the region about 58 volts. And as my humble um, DC uh, power supply, and it goes up to 30, I thought, well, I am not quite sure how I'm going to get to 58 volts. So after much deliberation, I um, decided to use my solar battery pack. Uh, as a charger and uh, I wired up some cables so that I could uh, do that. These little connectors are, um, are really useful. Just buy yourself a pack out of these things. Uh, they're great, easy to solder, nice gold contacts, uh, make um, putting stuff together really easy and if you label things up you know you tend to um, make less mistakes. You don't really want to make a mistake when you're using uh, a couple of hundred of amps uh, to charge your battery. Uh, got some fairly beefy cable here, didn't want any voltage drop and some beefy connectors and uh, yeah one uh, misconnection here and you're definitely going to have more than a puff of smoke probably uh, more like an arc welder so uh, just double check it before you uh, turn the whole lot into smoke all right so after about four or five hours of charging i have discovered that my uh, chinese bms with its uh, balancing circuit uh, has not been doing any balancing i've got 4.1 3.6 3.6 3.2 uh, 4.1 over here so it looks like the whole pack is uh, completely out of balance um, that's exactly why I got the BMS anyway I might be using this thing incorrectly or maybe I'm not giving it quite enough power I'm charging at about 56 and a half 57 maybe 58 volts uh, it might need more like 60 I'm not sure this has no instructions and uh, comes with a very basic circuit diagram so I will put this out on YouTube to see if anybody can uh, enlighten me as to um, how to get this thing to work in the way that it was designed no LEDs I've checked all the wiring my balancing cables are all okay uh, but yeah a very unbalanced pack so far and uh, until I get it balanced I can't put it on the old e-bike to test it so if you want to charge your battery and you don't have a battery charger you can just use the rest of your other batteries to charge your battery right I eventually found the problem one of these uh, cells has gone short circuit and basically because they're in parallel it's taken out all three of these and this was right in the middle of this pack real mission to get to there are actually screws on the end here that hold the packs together and then the pack has to be taken out and as you can see I had to solder up a, a makeshift join these came out of a Dell laptop so there's closer matches I can find also Samsung cells and put them back in uh, reconnected up all the original balancing wires, rechecked the original BMS thinking that it might not have been the fault but unfortunately it's no good and now I will strip it down and go back to the Chinese BMS okay so here's the bike and here's the battery now in place modified the socket for the 48 volts it's connected directly in and if you have a look at the display you will see there's a battery is flashing and I can't even increase or decrease the amount of uh, it's not going to do anything because it's basically thinks that the battery is flat okay so I've gone into the battery into the setup mode press and hold the two buttons down and go through the yeah. Q 
keep scrolling through until you get to the amp hours and you can push this up or down mine was uh, 8.6 this battery I believe is 10 10.5 but changing the amp hours um, although it shows full charge doesn't actually uh, allow you to use the battery let's try powering it off and back on again still showing out of range damn okay tubers so uh, this has been a long frustrating project if anybody has uh, any knowledge of how to hack the uh, controller and set the voltage for the controller from 36 to 48 volts that would be much appreciated there must be some settings I've, I've found some software that allows you to take limitations off the controller like speed and power so I guess there must be one that allows you to change the voltage it's probably the same controller on both models please let me know